Hi. Um, I'm just taking pictures of my seed stones to put onto my Etsy shop, Lisa Thorne Creative Works. Or Lisa Thorne Makes, I think Lisa Thorne Creative Works is my website, isn't it? Um, and I thought I'd just kind of explain what they are, really. Um, I'm sure everybody's had that thought when you uh, go to the beach and you pick up your favourite stones. I mean, I've picked up a few here that, that I love. Just the patterns. I look at them constantly. I live near the seaside on the south coast. Oh, that's the uh, bracelet my daughter made me yesterday. I live at the seaside on the south coast and I just have always loved stones. I used to take them home. <laughs> boxes of boxes of stones because I love them so much. And um, I've gone back to this idea that I had uh, when I was applying for my ceramics degree, which was to make stones to, to soothe you, to have in your pocket. And, you know, sometimes there are those things that you do that you you want something to do with your hands or you want something comforting. Oh, sorry, I'm just stroking the stone kind of off camera there. You want something to, to hold in your hand or to, to even wake you up because actually you can grip these stones and press them into your palm. That's quite a good way of giving you a kind of quick lift. Or they're, um, they're very soft and smooth. And... Um, Oh, it just feels great. So you can also stroke them and feel the different surfaces. I've, with each one, they're each, as they come on, I'm an intuitive artist, so they each um, arrive as they are. I go through a rough forming, um, then I leave them to dry a little, and then they go through a more specific forming, and I feel them in the, the hand and kind of create planes. As you see, they're all different shapes. I've got quite small hands, so I've tried to think about other people's hands. I'd love some feedback on how they work for different people. Here's a more angled one, because there was a fantastic stone I picked up that just felt fantastic. Um, the surface is very soft and smooth because I've burnished them, which is a ceramic technique where you, you press down onto the clay. And you can either use a stone, I've got a kind of crystal that I use for it, because it's got a very smooth surface. Um, or a burnishing tool. Mine's disappeared at the moment. Um, I've swept to put it somewhere safe, so I can't show you. But I'll, um, when I find it, I'll put a picture of it up because it's just, oh, it's beautiful. And it's very soothing in itself. Making these things very, sorry, I'm taking it off camera again. Making these things is very soothing. And, um, and burnishing it is lovely because you're compressing that surface and creating that beautiful, shiny surface. It does mean that um, if you put them in your pocket and a pen leaks all over them, that the surface will mark. But actually, you know, that's part of change and living with you, isn't it? Um, but I've also got a very thin varnish, which I can put over the surface, which keeps the feel of it. If it gets a slight nick in it, it will um, come off. But if you prefer to have the varnish, then you can just say when you're putting your order through. And I can... Um, put a coat on but I've had a few of these um, I took them because I was taking them with me everywhere because I just found them so nice um, in my handbag and actually they survived really well um, with absolutely no care whatsoever because <laughs> I forgot that I had them in there but that was one of the purposes really was to see how how durable they are I'm just looking in my bike bag now so I bicycle everywhere including up to the seaside to collect stones Can I find something that's been in my pocket? I can find a bike light. Ah, here's one. This is when I was trying to put holes in them. Um, to have them as pendants. I don't know if you can see, but that's that's been in my pocket. It wasn't perfectly burnished, but it's there's very little marking on that at all. These are actually made out of um, Fimo air clay which is very similar to real clay. It compresses quite well and I've mixed it with one of their other clays which is for making puppets to create this marbled surface. I might be able to focus that. I've got photographs of them anyway. Um, which is lovely. So there's another one. 
at the moment I'm working with mixing colours and textures into the later slot to kind of give something extra to think about when you're sorry it's getting catch a code with then when you when you're um holding them. <clears throat> if there's anything that you would like then just get in touch because it's always interesting to well it's great to hear from people and um, it's interesting to think of new things as well and take things in new places. Here you can see a rough form one and this one didn't go beyond this stage, this was just a, a test piece um, and you can see what it looks like before it's burnished which is quite rough. And here's another rough one uh, where I was testing for inlays because what I do is with these um, ones I, I marble the the, the, the uh, air clay but I'll also change the surface by taking bits off and adding adding clay to kind of add marbles and stripes. This is a hold one where I've tried to kind of echo, echo the stone. Generally people think that they are stones which is quite flattering actually because they're that's what they're related to. That perfect stone that you pick up at the beach that you can't put down. That's what they're for. Um, so now I'm going to carry on taking pictures of them to put them up on the Etsy shop. And um, there's that other one that's fallen down. And if I'm lucky, I might get a picture of some daisies in because there are rather a lot of daisies today and I love them. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's made it a bit clearer. You can see here actually, I'll just say these are the stamps I've just got for putting letters into the into the new ones and phrases okay yeah so awesome um, and you should be able to see the results of my morning's work on the on the Etsy site great bye